Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we'll diving into the topic that's going to revolutionize the way you work with Microsoft Excel. So yeah, we're talking about using Python right here in Excel. That's right, Microsoft Excel just released. It's working with Python language. And yeah, in today's video, we'll actually explore how to harness the incredible power of Python, let's just say to automate tasks, analyze data, and supercharge your Excel experience. So yeah, whether you are a data enthusiast a business professional or you know just someone that is looking to make your work more efficient so stick around because you are in for a treat in this video so before we diving into uh, the exciting stuff let's cover the basic like microsoft excel now supports python through its programming interface uh this means you can write and run python code directly within excel opening up a world of possibilities so yeah, now before we start i should point out that python is currently only available to microsoft 365 five users on the beta channel so yeah, i'll start by loading the libraries that i want to work with to activate python mode type equals pi and tab uh, notice the formula bar now has a green banner to the left to indicate it is python mode so this is cell so now i'm going to use the keyboard shortcut control f2 to switch to the formula bar and then i can make it a bit longer uh it's just going to give me more room to write my code to import the libraries i simply list what i want so then i want to import padas and cmo let's just say and i can leave it at that except excel will display a zero because obviously there's nothing to display in the cell so rather than that i'll enter some text that give me indicated that the libraries have loaded so i don't accidentally forget what's in the cell and delete it uh then to complete a python formula you can use control and enter if the cell doesn't display the object icon you can change it via drop down here and make it a python object so yeah now we have loaded our libraries uh next i need to define a data frame so in this file i have a load of employee data we have got lots of columns that i can analyze and the first thing i need to do is define this data in a data frame so let's just do that underneath the libraries so again equals pi tab and i need to name my data frame and a common name you'll see is simply df so df is going to equal other uh, data so let's select that and then i need to uh just tell excel that my data has headers and again to enter this formula control enter it gives me a circular reference in this file and this formula is below the only other formula so i'm just going to click ok at the point and evaluate anyway i'm going to spell the data and that's because it's defaulting to set the python output as an excel value let's switch it to an object and that's just going to collapse into a single cell that i can reference elsewhere now i don't have to place the python libraries and data frame in separate cells to the python code i can simply write them all in one formula but by keeping them separate they're available uh, for use in other python formulas in the workbook so as you guys can see with that you can create like easy data frames and you can write in whole codes in the separate column of python that microsoft excel has now provided over here so yeah, as you guys saw in this video like python enables uh, you to make your reports more dynamic and interactive you know but now the ability to pull in live data and generate real-time visualizations your reports will be more engaging and informative so and yeah, there you have it folks the incredible synergy of python and microsoft excel by combining python's programming powers with Excel's data handling capabilities, you're now equipped to work smarter and faster than ever before. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in some other video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.